So the Cybertruck's design has been finalized and the Gigapress over at the Texas Gigafactory is almost finished being assembled and the Cybertruck may go into production as early as this July. Now, of course, they are going to start with the tri-motors, then the dual motors, and whenever they have time, the single motors. Now, of course, if you have a single motor, you may not see it for a couple of years because, as always, they start with their most prestigious version of that model first. Also, keep in mind that they just announced that they are going to add a scratch free resistant coating to the Cybertruck, which will help keep all of the scratches off of the metal. This is absolutely a beautiful thing. And this morning, the stock is up almost 10%. It is soaring. The prices are down for the next few months. So if you want to get one cheap, now's the time to get it because not only are the prices lower, but it's also going to give you the $7,500 rebate from the EV tax credit next year. So this is absolutely a beautiful thing. Ford is actually in serious trouble right now. Toyota, VW, because everybody is canceling their pre-orders for those EVs and getting a Tesla instead because why would you want to get a Honda Civic for 80,000 when you can get a Ferrari for 35? Let's get real for a minute. Everybody's going to go after the Tesla. Ford made an announcement stating that no, stop asking us if we can lower our prices as well for the next few months. We are already losing money in our EV department. They cannot compete with Tesla. Tesla currently owns 12% of the industry. By 2025, they may own as much as 20 to 25%. It is absolutely one of the most beautiful companies for the future and it may become the biggest company in history.